What is up, you guys? Welcome to a very special, very therapeutic, very satisfying clean with me and plot twist, decorate with me. So we are going to decorate the entirety of my house. We're going to clean and organize pretty much every single room together. This video was filmed over the span of more than 48 hours. There is more than, I wanna say six hours of footage condensed into about 11 minutes. So enjoy, sit back, relax, and I hope that you guys love this one. So one thing that I did was actually use these open mouth jars to store my Sewing Sweethearts bows, which I thought was really, really cute. So we're putting a Halloween twist on storage and organization. Yes, Carl the dog was a part of this entire video. So we organized all of our extra bins. Anything that I had lying around, I just wanted to purge clean. And at the same time, I decided to reorganize my filming room. So if you watch the Daily Grind live, I now have a different backdrop. Surprise, it'll be fun. Hopefully you guys were on the 100th episode with Andre and I, that was so fun and such a huge announcement. So if you didn't go see that, definitely go watch that. Yes, um, Andre calls me a tank. Whenever I move furniture around, it's surprising what I'm capable of doing. But when I put my mind to something, I mean, sky's the limit. So I moved my desk to the other side of the room. You can now be a part of all of the behind the scenes that it takes to film the daily grind, the mic and the lights and everything. And I just figured that this would make a nicer backdrop. And also just for me to be able to not block the window. All my setup was blocking the window before. And what I did is I took off the bottom shelf on that Ikea bookshelf and I stacked it on top of the other one, just near the window. And that way I can put all my books and baskets in there. So I just slid that along the side of the window, rotated it out so that it fit, made room for the curtains. And then I have this little faux fur, little throw that I put on there, added some very festive pillows, which I thought was perfect for the space. And I mean, it just was awesome. I opened all the windows in the house, by the way, and it just, the fresh fall air was amazing. In this room, I have a lot of plants, different hanging plants, and they're all fake, but it adds to the vibe and style of the room. I actually also got these organizers for my cables, and it is one of the best things that I ever got. If you ever lose your cables, it's perfect. I have a couple of pieces of Halloween decor in this room, and I thought these were really cute to put on the shelves. I also took this time to clean all the mirrors in the room, as well as my little skincare fridge. I don't use this fridge enough and I actually do really like having my stuff be cold. So my eye patches and face masks, it's really cool. The other thing I decided to do was in the background of my videos to have a cauldron. Now, if you've never heard of putting a nebulizer in a cauldron, it is the way. So I got this little nebulizer. I took the top off of it so that it could actually not protrude out and it looked so dang good. So that will be going in the background of my vlogs for the rest of the month. I thought that was really cute. I also just purged, organized, and took out anything extra from my makeup drawers and just made it a little bit more NCO. Organized the cables and the baskets and bins in that office. Put that little ghost mug up there and I moved on to the bedroom. So the bedroom was a disaster. I had just basically put a bunch of laundry in there, all the extra pillows and just excess. So everything had to be put away. I had a lot of our merch actually out on the floor from just trying everything on. And that's really what I've been wearing all month. So I wanted to get that up and in the closet. And I actually love the shift of a seasonal closet. So right now my closet is very black, gray, and orange, which I kind of love. And just, I take out any hot pinks or any bright summery colors and it just makes it feel very fall in there. I folded up a lot of my sweaters, took everything out from the drawers and organized that, brought out my Halloween shoes and slippers. And then I had a burnt orange blanket and this really big pumpkin. It's like a quilted pumpkin that I put on the poof in the middle of my closet. And then I vacuumed everything and that felt so good. And once I was done a room, I vacuumed it. So then it was time to decorate this little bar cart. So yes, you've seen the big bar cart downstairs, but I love decorating this little one in my closet. I love how well it fits in the room. I have way too many countdowns to Halloween this year, but I kind of love it. It's exciting. So I use this black cloth. This stuff is so dirty cheap, but it adds so much to a space if you're into that look for Halloween. I love using it everywhere. It's kind of like just like a mesh cloth. 
and I put that tray on the top shelf and then I decided to do the mesh stuff everywhere. So I put some on the middle one and then on the bottom and I just cut it approximately to the right length. And then I had these different ghosts that I got. They're actually Ray Dunn and they're so stinking cute. So I just lined those up and then I'm all about ghosts this year, as you can tell. So I had the ghost with the bow tie. He's amazing. And then I had another ghost with another little bow tie. So we went on the bottom and then these were a DIY from last year, maybe the year before. If you were here for it, let me know in the comments. So it was very ghosty with a little pop of orange on the bar cart. So this is the finished closet. So good. Then it was time to move on to my beauty counter, which kind of goes into the master bath. So I did master bath and beauty counter, organized all of my scrunchies into those open mouth jars. Love that. Put the other slippers away. And then I just cleaned off the counter in our master bath. I always appreciate that you guys say that my life slash house looks like Pinterest. It doesn't. I want to show you the real mess that exists, but we're cleaning it. We're making it amazing. How adorable is this? So this is from Confectionery Soaps Co. If you can tell me what that little potion is, I mean, you're a true Disney fan. It's so perfect for Halloween because it's a villain. I, I love it. So I plugged in the little scent thing from Bath and Body Works. I had these two Mickey soaps that Kelly from Confectionery Soaps Co. got me. So you bet your buns I'm going to put some pumpkin spice stuff in there. Cleaned out the sinks, cleaned the mirrors in here, and then we kept moving on. I grabbed one of our Donuts, Dumbbells, and Dreams bath mats that says all the pumpkin spice. I put that. I had a Mickey pumpkin that I brought in. I had another one of these little baths. You can get these baths at Michael's. So that's what I put the bath salts in. I just thought it was a really cute little touch. I also did laundry. I mean, listen, we slayed. So I transferred everything from the wash to the dryer. I told you Carl was going to be a part of the entire thing. And then we moved on to the bedroom. So first I wanted to change out the towel that we have. So I have a little Mickey towel and then yes, you guessed it. One more countdown to Halloween because I mean, what is too many? So in this room, I have a couple pumpkins. I have some of the pillows from our merch collection on the bed. I wanted to re-fluff up the bed. By the way, I can't say this enough times, that comforter is the greatest thing of my entire life. And then I backed out of the closet into the bedroom and vacuumed everything, but not before I found that ghost and he needed to be a part of my life. So, I mean, listen, the entire house is decorated at this point. So I set up the room for bedtime and then I went downstairs and decided to slay the remainder of the main floor. So I picked up some goodies at Winners and Home Sense as well as Bath and Body Works. I got a soap and a couple of candles and then I got these plates at Winners. So Andre deserves a medal of honor because he was the one that had this idea. He had seen them at the beginning of the season. I got the charger plates for them. Listen, you're going to be a part of my entire table decor. So I decided next to the dining room table on this, I guess you call it a banquette, to create a little bit of a haunted mansion meets Jack Skellington. So kind of paying tribute to the haunted mansion in Disneyland. If you've been, you know that there is an entire Nightmare Before Christmas theme, so that was what I was kind of going for. So I had the ghost host table runner. I have this Jack Skellington copy from my friend. This clock is incredible. And then this is actually a doorbell, but it's fine. Totally worked. And everything is Haunted Mansion. I mean, to a certain extent. So we've got some bats in there, some candles. And then I added in all of our pillows and blankets that were just piled on the couch. I organized those and then I kind of tried to categorize them if that's even possible, but I did have a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. So I put that right along the backdrop of that. So the snake and Oogie Boogie, I mean, ugh, I love it. And then I did this striped pillow, home sweet home with the tomb, and then that little bat right in front of it. And then on the other side, I actually have an everybody scream with Jack Skellington on it. So I have that pillow with the Jack Skellington and a ghost and then a Haunted Mansion blanket. So I mean, things were working out. All right, dining table. I bought these off of Amazon, little candle holders. I need some extra candles, but we had two, so that was good for now. And they're striped, very vibey. So I had this black mesh cloth and I put all of it on top of the table runner that I usually use. I have like this burlap table runner and then I ran the mesh cloth over top of that. Then I put my regular candle holders that I always have on top of that mesh, the charger plates. So these are just from Amazon and they're very lightweight. They're actually like plasticky. 
and then they go perfectly with the plates that I got at Home Goods. I always say Home Goods, Home Sense in Canada. And they're all a little bit different. I think three of them are the same and they all look a little bit different, these plates, and they have so much character, they're adorable. And then we moved on to the dining table. I cleaned everything off. We actually eat at that table a lot of the time, so I wanted to make sure that that was clean. Fixed up the little tray. I love, I love, love, love this piece. It's from last year from Target. And then I moved into the office. The office was the catch-all, as you can tell. So I got everything off the floor, dispersed that throughout the house, vacuumed everything up. I was watching Ghostbusters. I love the one with all the girls. I think it's hilarious. I had these little bats that I got off of Amazon and I put some on the chandelier and then up the side of the TV. Oh my gosh, he's my new pet. I love him. D'Artagnan. So the office just has a couple little pieces in it, but I love, I love the little touches. I even have a miniature bar cart in there. And then it was time to finish off the main room. So I got a purple light bulb. I thought that this would be a cool touch. I've never done this before and oh, so good. So I turned on all the little candles, all of the fairy lights, the village is going. I'm very, very happy with how the entire house turned out. If you guys would like to see a full house tour, I can absolutely do that. I feel like that'd be a cool opportunity to take you through everything, turn all the lights on and show you all the candles lit. I mean, they're not even all lit right now. So turn everything on and just give you the full experience. And you know that by then I will have added more, right? Of course. So if that's something you guys want to see, drop in the comments down below. I so appreciate you guys sticking through with me this entire month and how much you guys are enjoying it and your feedback. It just means so much and how positive you guys all are. I can't wait to see all of your reactions with the giveaways and the future videos. I mean, if you have suggestions, drop them down below. And if you guys did like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit that bell for notifications and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes.